Imagine stepping outside one night, expecting the usual faint sprinkle of stars, only to be met with a sky bursting with vibrant constellations, shimmering galaxies, and the magnificent arm of the Milky Way stretching across the heavens. This stunning celestial display is a rarity for many of us today, thanks to a growing yet often overlooked issue, light pollution. How did we let artificial lights rob us of the universe's most spectacular sight? And what can we do to reclaim our dark skies? The year was 1994, and Los Angeles had just been rocked by a powerful earthquake at 4.30 a.m. The city's power grid failed, plunging millions into darkness. As bewildered residents emerged from their homes, they were met with an unexpected and awe-inspiring spectacle, the night sky in all its natural glory. For many, it was their first encounter with such a sight, a sky filled with countless stars, clustered galaxies, and the striking Milky Way. This magnificent view, however, instilled fear rather than wonder. Calls flooded into local observatories and emergency services from people who couldn't comprehend what they were witnessing. Was it a UFO invasion or a strange atmospheric phenomenon? This moment underscored a harsh reality. Light pollution has so severely affected our environment that many city dwellers no longer recognize the night sky. The event became a poignant reminder of what we've lost in our modern, illuminated world, highlighting the profound impact of artificial light on our connection to the cosmos. Before the advent of artificial lighting, the only sources of light at night were the stars, the moon, and fire. The late 19th century brought a revolutionary change with the introduction of public electric lighting, spreading rapidly across the globe and illuminating our cities. Today, advancements in LED technology have accelerated this trend, causing light pollution to grow at an alarming rate. According to recent studies, Earth's skies are becoming 10% brighter each year, with 85% of the world's population now living under light-polluted skies. In urban areas in the U.S. and Europe, this figure reaches nearly 100%. This dramatic increase in brightness not only obscures the stars, but also has far-reaching effects on our environment and health. The proliferation of artificial light has transformed night into a continuous twilight, disrupting the natural rhythms of life. While electric lighting has brought undeniable benefits, such as increased safety and extended productivity, its overuse and misapplication have created a new form of pollution that is steadily erasing the stars from our view. The consequences of light pollution extend far beyond obstructing our view of the cosmos. It affects human health, wildlife, and even our sense of place in the universe. The increased artificial light disrupts our circadian rhythms, leading to sleep disorders, mental health issues, and even serious conditions like cancer and obesity. Animals, too, suffer immensely. Migrating birds, baby sea turtles, and nocturnal creatures often become disoriented by city lights, leading to fatal outcomes. For instance, freshly hatched sea turtles instinctively crawl towards the brightest horizon, historically, the open ocean. Today, they are often led astray by artificial lights heading inland where they face numerous hazards. Similarly, the shearwater, a bird that navigates by the moon and the stars, gets confused by city lights, resulting in exhaustion and death. Even the humble dung beetle relies on the Milky Way for navigation, and light pollution disrupts this ancient behavior, making them easy prey. This disruption of natural patterns illustrates a profound imbalance created by artificial light, affecting entire ecosystems and highlighting the need for more mindful lighting practices. Astronomers measure the quality of the night sky using the Bortle scale, which ranges from one perfectly dark to nine inner city lights. In major cities like Los Angeles, New York, or London, the sky rarely falls below a Bortle 8, meaning only a handful of stars are visible, and the sky is never truly dark. This has serious implications for ground-based observatories, which are crucial for astronomical discoveries. Historic breakthroughs such as the expansion of the universe and the detection of exoplanets were made using ground-based telescopes. Light pollution threatens to hinder future discoveries, depriving us further understanding of our universe. The Bortle scale serves as a stark indicator of the loss of dark skies. 
emphasizing the urgent need for measures to protect these invaluable scientific resources. As urbanization continues to spread, the preservation of dark sky areas becomes increasingly vital for the continuation of astronomical research and the inspiration it provides to future generations of scientists and stargazers. To truly grasp the impact of light pollution, visit one of the darkest places on Earth, the Arakai Mackenzie Dark Sky Reserve in New Zealand. Spanning nearly 4,400 square kilometers, this reserve offers a rare glimpse into a pristine night sky, free from the blight of artificial light. The people of New Zealand have implemented innovative measures to preserve their dark skies, such as using low brightness, downward-facing streetlights. These efforts not only protect the night sky, but also benefit local wildlife and human health. The experience was nothing short of transformative. Standing under the dark sky, you could see thousands of stars, the Milky Way in all its glory, and even faint galaxies. It's a humbling reminder of our place in the universe. This view, which should be a common human experience, is now a rarity. For many, the night sky has been reduced to a pale imitation, obscured by the relentless glow of city lights. The Arakai McKenzie Reserve stands as a testament to what can be achieved with thoughtful planning and a commitment to preserving our natural heritage offering a beacon of hope in the fight against light pollution. So, what can we do to combat light pollution and reclaim our night skies? The solutions are surprisingly simple and cost-effective. Municipalities can adopt amber-colored streetlights that point downward, reducing glare and minimizing sky glow. These lights are not only cheaper to run, but also less disruptive to wildlife and human circadian rhythms. Additionally, individuals can make a difference by using outdoor lights sparingly, installing motion sensors and choosing fixtures that minimize light spill. Community initiatives and educational programs can raise awareness about the importance of dark skies, encouraging collective action to reduce light pollution. By making small changes in our lighting habits, we can significantly improve the quality of our night skies, benefiting both our environment and our well-being. The movement to reclaim the night sky is not just about aesthetics. It's about fostering a deeper connection with the natural world and preserving a fundamental aspect of our planet's heritage for future generations. Reclaiming our dark skies is not just about preserving the beauty of the cosmos. It's about reconnecting with our environment and our history. For millennia, humans have looked to the stars for navigation, inspiration, and a sense of wonder. Today, light pollution threatens to sever this ancient connection. If we take action now, we can ensure that future generations will also have the chance to gaze up at the stars and marvel at the vastness of the universe. Imagine a world where the Milky Way is no longer a forgotten mystery, but a familiar sight, where children can grow up under a star-filled sky, and where we all have the opportunity to reconnect with the cosmos. The stars remind us of our place in the universe, inspiring curiosity and humility. Preserving our night skies is about more than just reducing pollution. It's about maintaining a link to our shared human heritage and fostering a sense of stewardship for our planet. By making a concerted effort to reduce light pollution, we can restore the night sky to its former glory, enriching our lives and the lives of those who come after us. It's a world worth striving for, and it starts with each of us taking steps to reduce light pollution. By doing so, we can bring back the stars and reclaim our place in the universe.